damage mitigation, extra heal in the laning stage so they can't burst him down. Root into Arrow. They've caught out the Trian. Insania. He's going to be dropping here, it looks like. Turns to fight. Jab's about to die. Just he gets kidding. into the trees. He survived. First blood goes the way of Mickey. Gets the stick off. And now he's going to be level 3. I want to see if he decides to put another point in Leech Seed. And that's Never top. mind. Top lane. Killing Ollie. Spirit Siphon's out. Does get a decay in onto the DP. So he looks okay for now, but running real low on regen and the Crypt Swarm eclipses backside. First two kills to Liquid. Both Oof. side lanes, spectacular starts. All event, all in there. Now, trying to <laughs> be a bit too aggressive, and uh, now you're going to have uh, the, uh, the level 3 that I mentioned on both of these heroes. Yeah. So, uh, 23, he's in trouble. Oh, he's dead. I was going to say the upside of Undying dying is... Pull it into that small camp for now. Maximize the farm for Zai. Zai a bit low on mana going into mana boots. They definitely need mana sustain in this mm. lane. A lot of harassment, a lot of spam coming out. And Oli just getting chased down by Boxy. Acorn shot, bushwhack, perfect setup for Zai to come in. Get his killing spree now. And a perfect game, 4-0 for Liquid. They're going to lose in Senior though. I spoke too soon, I apologize. I do lose the train down bottom, so a uh, breath of fresh air there for Talon fans. Hmm, interesting build. Uh, never mind. The they get the bushwhack. She does land the LSA, but with the acorn shot and one more touch, they'll take her down. Zai now dominating. The tombstone's decently placed, and zombies give chase, but Boxy clears them out. So Ollie will have to get that hoodwink kill rather than chasing the death prophet. Little they can do. I mean, we knew going into this Narg Siren, very greedy. Yes, you can set up for arrow, but you're not really outputting that much damage yourself in the early levels. And it looks like Mickey just going to ditch the lane for now, feeling this Makoto gank coming. Well, up at top, they've set up on the Undying. Oli gets a decent decay, but Zai and Boxy straight under that tower. This ward has paid off big time for them. And this will They're definitely going to need to do that. Uh, use Moonlight Shadow, try to get some kills. Uh, again, Void Spirit plus Marana, they need to play together. They need to go for the kills. Some of the kills are going to be a bit more difficult to get, and uh, here they come again. That's a simple one. Makoto getting involved, setting up the Marana. Insania down bottom, gets himself into the trees while well, Jabs will drag the wave around a little bit. Up on the map, most likely killed that tier 1 tower on the mid lane. Oh, nicely done. Get on top of Mikoto, they don't have enough damage, even though the control was beautifully placed. Now Nisha being turned on. In comes Q and Ollie to shards, trying to block them away, but another astral step is there to kill the tusk off. He's tanky and annoying, but they'll trade out one for one. Maybe another one, though, with Undying. Being bushwhacked up, Liquid play and fight back. And Mick is the one that gets the double kill as well. You can see Talon playing around their Void Spirit. They don't want to, like, they want him to have full HP, full mana all the time, smoke. From Team Liquid, this is a big kill if Boxy can find an opening. Misha gets in on top of 23, punch there, and the control's good. Sharpshooter, not sure it was required, but it will secure the kill quickly nonetheless. And Boxy left for the Wolves as Talon come in to clear up the 13th minute of gameplay. And back underway we head. Enemy Ancients. Oh, not again. Nisha with the Invis. Nisha's they coming. They just place a sentry. They see him. Q gonna get caught down, punched down. Tombstone's dropped, and it looks like they're going to... Force Liquid away from here. A plenty of zombies on Nisha. He's going to have to clear them out. On him. They know that they don't have enough damage <laughs> to kill him. Zai just showed his mech very close to Guardian Greaves. So this... Uh, can, can they get the Squirrel? Yes, they can. Yeah. And they couldn't kill Zai. I'm unsure if they could even kill Mickey, honestly. He's got Raindrop, Strength Treads, plenty of tankiness. Action to be able to withstand the onslaught the Liquid are bringing. There's still a decent amount of abilities that go through Magic Immunity. Oh, Jab gets silenced. He's in the spot that he needs to be, and I feel like this death is a necessity. Jabs is going to die, and Zai on a Mega Kill streak, but it forces Exo, it forces Liquid down to bottom lane. It's just that kind of has to be where Naga sits, right? She, there's nowhere else on the map for her to play. Yeah, she can't get into a Tron. Yeah, not an ideal situation for him. But there's that, that nasty Naga Oh, Nisha gets the punch. Oh, the control is there. Sharpshooter to finish off the Void and Spirit. And it's time to get rushed. This is the perfect Straight. timing for Team Liquid. Zai, Exorcism just came off cooldown. Perfect. They also have a point in attack team. Uh, way too much sustain coming out from the Guardian Greaves. Uh, let's see if they maybe try to go for it. Uh, maybe Morana leaps in. Uh, Still a decent amount of time to wait for the Exo to come back up. But 
Liquid going to be happy with the state of affairs. Makoto with his DD rune, though, going in onto Nisha, but Arrow off the mark from Q. Combo's not there. And now Boxy's coming in. They're thinking about the play on Makoto. Even under the Dire Ward, they get the control. Damage is coming with the Assassinate there, but Makoto surviving. They've got the sustain from this Marana Undying. And Mike killing off the Tombstone quickly. Will turn on to Ollie. Need the control to stun him up. 23, bailing away from this fight while Nisha reinitiates. Makes another appearance in the fight to take him down. Illusion up top. Just don't want to fong it into Team Liquid right now. Uh, aiming, aiming down bottom as we see a bunch of ropes and straps coming out of Boxy. Gets into the tree line. Sharpshooter and Tumblr's toy. Getting a bit of distance, but 23's there. Lands the Light Strike Array. Pummels into the Hoodwink with an awful amount of damage. Marana will get there with a final touch. Starstorm to secure the kill on Boxy, 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 Boxy. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Boxy so far died paying tribute to one of the best players in Team Liquid. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Team Liquid is just a team that is having so much fun. Insane has found it. Overgrowth into silence. It's Zai. another three silence. Get the damage on top of him. That's him dead. Miko with a dominating streak. Oh boy. That ward. Again, they just have this vision in prime spots. Nisha is like going for a force staff uh, to be able to get away from the trouble because they understand that the real threat is coming on from this arrow. This is their combo. Oh, oh. Punch. Ow. Oof, that hurts. And he might still die nonetheless. Arrow's there and a good tombstone down. Talon trying to fight around with Makoto coming back in. That blows down yes, Nisha. They can. 23 about to fall though. Zai's gone straight into the back lines with the Spirit Siphons. And the ghosts are flowing. Q so close to death. And Zai just won't be fouring. They have lost Nisha and traded him for the Lena. But Liquid still looking hot as they invade that enemy ancient spot. They use the Dark wow. Tower. Liquid, they're going up. Talon trying to catch up. They're going to walk into Insania. Oh, Sentry knows. is down. He knows. He sees them. Oh, he doesn't have overgrowth, but the rest of the team will come on in. In we go with Nisha's punch. Catching the Void Spirit, but the song comes. Tombstone's down. Assassinate flies, but the arrow connects in onto Nisha's tusk. Where's the follow through? Lena on the high ground, on the low ground, fighting into the sniper on the right hand side. They kill off Nisha and Mickey battling in a 1v1 with 23. Boxy helps out, and Sniper survives. Turns and kills the Undying. Q. A good spot. Oh no, Q, you've walked into the wrong fight, my son. Oh man, 23, he tried to square up and fight against Mickey, but Mickey. Oh, Zai has a blink. Just XO blinking, Kaisand Greaves, unkillable DP. Outputting some serious damage. Oh, Mikoto. Boxy's hunting you. Lands the bushwhack. Did get off the resonant pulse to tank up a little bit, but the chain stuns are coming. No, dissimilate down to the right hand side. Still pretty low on Makoto, and no astral steps remaining. He's going to die with a punch from Nisha. They take him down. And they are going to go for a push. They help them. This Naga Siren may be, you know, quote unquote online now, as is the Lena. But they've lost. <laughs> Make a four staff a creep inside their base. Oh, yeah. Nisha, high ground attempt. He jumped in and died. Oh, uh, a bit of a yikes. Uh, where's the... the voice line? I don't consider myself <laughs> the best. Jump away from Insania, though. Doesn't want to play raw into that team fight. Wants a bit of back and forth, but they go for the song. Arrow should come straight in onto Nisha and connect it there. Four staff away, buy a bit of space. They are going to take him down, though. Tusk is gone and Boxy will follow. Talon fighting back around their timing while Oli gets shredded by the ghosts and the buybacks. They're starting to flow. Oli will return to battle in a sec. The overgrowth and Sniper's damage. Mickey, he opens up on them. 23 in a 1v1 Mickey against the Sniper is down. losing out. Zai's DP, too powerful. Jabs and Mickey Q, they're back in on Mickey. Mickey's so low, but he stands his ground. Destroys them all. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine. <laughs> you're so fine, you're blowing my mind. Gorgeous stuff from Liquid. This is do or die. 23 just wants a straight one-on-one -on -one duel. Yeah, I see the leaner against the sniper, but it's not going to happen. Jabs. Well, he songed and moved in the pit. Pops the Manta. Roshan is nearly no, dead. He but Mickey, BKB. BKB's up. Turns the fight. The jump from the task kicking leaner across the pit. Roshan down. Grabbed by Makoto. He snatched it. But Lena's dead now. Makoto with the Age of Steel. Whoa, sniper. Where did he go? He went to call GG. That's where he went. Oh, what a beautiful execution of the team fights from Team Liquid.
They've run out of regen, though, it looks like. Jabs, half HP, evacuating. Nisha making that a move on the lane. You're right, the Firefly goes over the top, but the chains are there, and Mikunto getting first blood under tower. And there's the, there's the matchup in that 1v1 against the Batrider. Two points in Searing Chains. This is pretty similar to what you said, the matchup with the Storm Spirit, where you like dive as a Batrider, get pulled uh, with the, the second ability into Remnant, and the Ember Spirit surviving at this one. Off to a great start, I would say. Yeah, spectacular. While Q at top will get picked off. A long range attack from the Drought. Incredibly tanky. But now that Omni Knight leaving the lane, they'll go for a dive. Time walk off cooldown in a second, pops the stick, but Good he can't lift. jump away. He gets off behind the trees, fights Boxy now, and the time dilation's there. He gets the kill, but the Doom, looking for the trade out, will get another swipe of his guitar. Go for mana boots in this lane. Mana sustain, especially with Rubik's Shards. They miss. Oh, Mika has raindrops as well. He's incredibly tanky on this Drow, so they'll turn and fight. With the Ember Spirit arriving, though, Mika oh, looking a little worse for wear now. Q and can Makoto the surround one? the Drow. They'll get they on top cannot. of her as well with a Remnant. Insania can. They do trade two for one, though. Insania coming out pretty Mikoto's hot there. Clean up. But Makoto will pick up the double kill, clean up that top lane, and have a great start on this Ember Spirit. Thankful he has two saving supports on his team. Yeah, not just that, you will have that profit. Uh, I want to see what the build is going to be. I oh. mean, it's an all mid lane. Nisha, it looks like he's in a bit of trouble here. Mikoto and Jabs, diving tower. Nisha very low, pops his stick for the final Crypt Swarm. Takes him out of the game. A while is Boxy also dead. out of mana. Nothing left to give, and another kill for Makoto. Dominating Ember Spirit and Talon looking real hot here in game two. They really do. Now working out real well for them, especially this Makoto Ember Spirit, top of the net worth. 23 having a crack on Zai with the Chrono there. That's another and both kill. both supports coming, it is. Get 23 involved, absolutely what they need. First, real usage of that. Trend Protector to be able to have a dispel against Gust and also keeping your allies alive against the Doom, that extra regeneration could, could come in very handy. Well, Faceless Void again has the backup coming. Tons of heals and 23 is fine. Zion Boxy keep trying to poke at this faceless void and it's not working out for them. While up at top lane, they've got the slight chains on Insania. Makoto going to continue his streak. Oh, looks so good for this Ember Spirit. Fate coming for Mickey. But the space on the map is getting smaller and smaller in which Mickey can actually sit and farm. Top jungle and could be invaded here by Talon, but they've left Jabs isolated alone. Nisha arriving, Insania gets turned on. Jabs. Trying to have a go Firefly. on the tree, but with the Drow coming in, they'll find the DP kill nonetheless, while it looks like Boxy did get taken out by Makoto on the other side of the map. And that's here, one. There's not a possibility for Liquid to really push towers at this point. They don't have the best ways of shoving objectives or sieging early days. So they'll try and fight down in this bottom jungle instead. Zai with a Doom on the Tusk. Slowly tick him down, but might be losing his life here in the trade as he gets surrounded by Talon. So quickly moving into that bottom jungle area to find the Doom kill. Every single time Team Liquid does as farming the map. See, this living armor has been a bit of a nuisance for Talon. Ooh, Ooh. that misses. The time walk. Now the Chrono, 23, battering into the Batrider, but he's going to time walk. Away, just a defensive chrono there for them. While down at bottom lane, Mickey on the high ground fighting for staffing away. The snowball under tier one. They've got the punch, but the lasso comes. Mickey's still alive with the living armor. They've got the wall stomp on the tusk. They'll clear through Q and look for jabs next. Spirit Slivers are going, and the TP's there. Any stuns? No. Liquid have nothing left to give. But Mickey. But if Makoto can grab another couple of kills, especially if they can see the bat. But Nisha slips away into the fog. Shows on the, the way. of the team is there, smoked. Boxy's here. Let's see if they can do anything around the Batrider. Because he's snowballed upon, and Makoto going to be helped out by the Tusk. Q claims the life of Nisha. It's been a difficult game for this Batrider so far. He gave the Ember Spirit, kind of set the tempo for the game. Oh, the overgrowth. Do they have the Doom as well to follow? Absolutely. Zaya's there. And this time, the backup was lacking. Way too deep for 23. This time, Oli was not sitting behind him, so not able to get the heal done. Finally, the tower will fall, so yeah. that's a good opening. Another entrance to the enemy jungle. It's been a long time coming. Oh, top outpost, Trian. 
Getting picked off. The two Talon supports, they stuck around, camped out near that rune spot. I want to see Talon make a move, maybe even into Roche with the Exo. Uh, tag team is maxed out, so decent amount of damage. Liquid just you know, giving an Insania death here. Maybe Nisha falls up at top lane while they're making bank elsewhere. And play on to the Q Tusk. Boxy and Insania, two supports setting up. Drow Ranger with a damage to slow Q down and pummel him into the ground while Zai hunting for Ollie in the trees. They overgrowth him. Make sure that he does get stunned up. And Mickey with the double kill. Insane. Yeah, and even though Nisha's died a fair few times, doesn't feel like he's drastically behind. Things will get a little tougher for the bat and the doom when this Lincolns comes, but they've got the play to make now. Pre Lincolns on the Ember Spirit and a massive kill to take. In comes Jabs and a snowball save, finding Makoto to buy time and a Chrono in the back. Will find Nisha through the BKB. They've killed Makoto though. That's the big ticket kill for Liquid. Get and Nisha's still surviving. He's away from there. In we go with Zai and Insania whacking into Talon while Jabs, very low HP, being shredded with a long range attack from Mickey. Q in trouble now as well. He's snowballing back onto Nisha. Mickey and Insania, they can take Not him out with damage. ease. There's no way to kill Nisha now without BKB. Mickey keeping the distance there. What a flame break from... Yep. And then that one target dies anyway. 23 also invested his gold into shard. This is one of the earliest shards I've seen pre-BKB. Wow. Oh no, they found another one. Makoto again. Have they got the control the for snowball? him? He BKBs up. He'll stand and fight. Snowball onto Boxy there and Rubik. He'll get sliced. Does have the slider fist to buy a bit of time. Living armor's on him. Boxy not going to survive. But in comes Mickey. Slowing with a multi shot. Chasing now Q Another and Wally. And a great two man stomp from Zai. They need the Guardian Angel to protect them. The Virgil's Dale on the ground as well. Glorious green, but Q will not survive. Team XO, it's going to take them some time to get back to the top lane and try to finish off the Roche. Insania. Yeah. Hiding with his shard, but he moves away from the trees. Poor tree and getting caught out there. But not too bad for Liquid. That was a the big kill. Roshan could be theirs. Do you think Liquid have enough tools to pop the Lincolns before a doom? Well, we'll come back to the thought in a second because Zai blink wall stomp onto jabs. Makoto comes to fight around him, but the DP's dead. Talon, they're bringing numbers here. They want to guard this 20 HP tier one tower. Zai found so many good opportunities to jump in and land the Edder War Stomp on one or being the one that's caused havoc in Boxy. the ranks of Liquid. Stole a Crypt Swarm, wants to be able to kill the Creep Wave immediately, but might pay with his life. A bit yeah. greedy, four staff available. I don't think it's going to be enough. Nah, Mikoto closes the gap with the Remnant. <laughs> we see how fast he dies against this Drow Ranger, gets gusted, gets silenced. Uh, Gets pushed back where he does not want to be. Oh, the jump. Have they got him? Makoto gets off the BKB. The Guardian Angel comes and he remnants off to the left-hand side. Oli might not be so lucky. Omni Knight surrounded while 23 is doomed. They caught the faceless void. He didn't get anything off. Age is immediately claimed by Liquid. And they're thinking about re-entering. They want Q, low HP, but the lasso is there. The faceless void focused. 23 time walks, four staff away. Mickey drifting around. Thinking about chronoing. And there it is. The chrono onto the Drow Ranger. Zip four to the remnant but the drow reasonably tanky surviving the onslaught will still fall and the stolen chrono they're gonna come back in with boxy mikoto does have that arcane rune well clean him up and now insania trapped in behind enemy lines gets a rune on the faceless void but he'll fall quickly too four for one they lose the aegis but talent fighting in that bottom part of the map around the dead tier two as well very early on but that's Aegis gone. That's Talon's Roshan no longer in effect. So Liquid won't have to deal with that anymore, but a dive into mid will catch out the Rubik. Boxy keeps trying to clear out these waves in very risky situations. Nobody to be seen. Dire Vision will finally catch a glimpse of Jabs and Q. Uh, Ollie, sorry, moving up top. And Insania goes and cuts left. They go in with the AoE Doom, miss the wall stomp, and the save is there. Get Jabs as quickly out of this situation as you can, and the Exo's popped. 
AoE Doom still going for Zai, gets the BKB out, but the Chrono's there, lands on the Zai alone. Mikke, so he's rooted up. He can't do any damage. They do have a lasso in the back under tier two. Makoto being dragged fun. around, but Mickey. the damage isn't coming. Makoto's okay. Gets away from the gust. The BKB's up and remnants off to the left. He's sliding and dancing over Liquid now. Overgrowth on the jabs, but there's nothing Insignia can do. The rest of Liquid scattering to the wind. They're on the run to try and hide. Boxy will absolutely disappear. And Mickey being dived by Makoto now. 23's on top of him. He gets the bash as well. Pike's off to the left, but he's dead. Q with a double kill and Makoto on 50 HP, escaping from danger, but not for much longer. Liquid, they fight back under their tier two and get a wipe. That's to Tusk, I believe, has just been completed. So we're talking about displacement and the ability to catch out a target like this. Zai's doom, BKB's up. Snowball will come and the kick is there. Q sends them southwards. So Zai looking to try and escape, but with Makoto's gap closed and 23 Savage there, Swiftly take down the Doom, who's dead for 70 seconds. Now Doom, they, they can't really just burst him from 100 to 0, especially if all he clicks move on him. Like, that's what all he's doing right now. <laughs> just follow command. Makoto. Lincoln's is popped. He's going to get scythed up. That's Nisha's reveal of the Hex, and look at Mickey's damage. They do get the Chrono on the back of the Drow Ranger. The That's a good one, and in comes the DP. The Ghosts are flowing. Mickey dropping lower and lower. Four staff off to the right-hand side. Any more protection for the they Drow? Do She's the dust. dusted. Taken out by Talon. 23. Seems like he was not done. Oh, Insania. The oh. Straggler left all the way in the back of the fight. 20 seconds until Roshan respawn. Two big ultis on cooldown now. Team Liquid, once Doom respawns, Mickey does have a buyback available if needed. So does Insania. There's a DD rune on this Faithless Void though, and that is a scary prospect to fight into, even without the Chrono and Exo. I mean, Nisha's Scythe of Vice, it got some great value in the previous fight, but now he's being snowballed and kicked back. No he BKB did turn for into a piggy, but in comes the AoE Doom. Aiming the Omni Knight, trying to remove this support. Nisha out of there, Boxy back in to help out Zai with a full staff. And now the BKB Doom, whacking into the void. They found 23 and he's dead. Zai, oh no way. No way. Blink. Snowball into Blink. He's, he's going to be able to get away. out. Oh my god, Zai did so much in that fight. And Meanwhile, while this is Jabs happening on a mid lane. Been burnt alive. Zai is going to get found here. Surely Q will have him. Infernal Blade Wall Stomp. He's going to blink again. He's toying with them. Playing with his food. And back on to the Tusk we go. Team Liquid so good at team fighting. Itemization, positioning, and execution in these team fights. Because again, I just want to reiterate that old oh, Nisha, he's going to get the jump. Straight onto the Omni Knight, remove that protective support, steal a spell from him as well, while the Ember Spirit remnanting across the haste rune back into mid, spent his BKB, and he's just still going for him. This thing can sell Hand of Midas, can use his Aghanim Scepter, eat it, needs to pay extra gold. Dire, they just use the scan. Nisha, ready to jump in. Oh, the Tusk. Immediately gusted. They tried to protect him with a Lotus and the Heavenly Grace, but looked like they came a little bit too early there. Now Makoto getting gone on, has to BKB, and the AoE Doom is there. Zai zones him away. And again with that CD, oh, the Chrono. Nisha, he's being gone on, but he's got living armor and protection here from the Drow Ranger. Nisha's still gonna die, but in comes Zai yet again, focusing 23, he's but Zai will fall. The Doom is gone. Drow the one holding the Aegis, standing at ground and pummeling down. Q dead. Zion does buy back and tries to come into the fight again to look for jabs. An easy one for them. Team Liquid, they want to end it. Oh, yeah, they do. Another kill for Liquid. Buy back to win the fight, to win the game, it looks like. Makoto has the short remnant, and there's nothing left here. Mikoto holding on to Witchbane, so it does have a dispel. Oh, the jump. <gasps> so quick. But look at Insania. He's going back in again. Overgrowth straight on the tusk. No cares in the world, and they doom him up. The Chrono there, 23 Savage, aiming in onto Mickey, the Drow Ranger. She's gone. It's Buys back straight off the bat. Now they can turn on to this faceless void. Ah, oh, Boxy being chased by the ghosts. They do clear up Ollie though. The Omni Knight's gone, and 23 Savage shredded. He has to buy back now as well, and they've lassoed up the Jabs DP. Dragger towards Mickey. And Senior trying to control the left side as well. Champs on the run with Makoto, but Liquid, they've got the option to jump back in. He's not that getting away from on the this trium. one. 
Scythe them up and control the DP. No more Death Prophet, no more Exo. And even with the buyback jabs. Ages that Roshan's gonna drop, definitely needs it. But with no Chrono, it feels like there's no way to kill the Drow. They might try to snatch it. He, he's seen it so many times. He zips in. Roche nowhere near dead. He beacon, he's up and tries to click it down. Mickey, Gets he's it. fine. Steals he does it. get it. Makoto steals it. And the Chrono for 23. Refresh it back up. He unders Kamnisha though. Mickey in trouble. The buyback, he's stuck in the pit. Four staff from Boxy though, saves him. He survived. And Zai's there to help Nisha clean up. Oh, Liquid. They ball and back he's and defend him. And then AoE Doom secures another. Zai MVP, he did so much work, not just in this fight, but also a couple of previous fights. This AO And Mickey just standing his ground and launching projectiles. The artillery cannon is here. The howitzer has arrived. Saying goodbye to your base talent. Makoto tries, the doom comes. Overgrowth there, and they've got the connection. Stunning up Makoto Zamba. GG call and Liquid. 2-0. What a performance from Team Liquid. The game looked... Uh,